Hi, and welcome to our lesson on simplifying with algebraic fractions. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to simplify the fractions from questions A to F using a single pair of brackets. So we'll begin with question A, where we have 32x over 8x squared. So we need to identify the highest common factor of both a numerator and denominator. And you can see that 8 is a factor of 32 and 8. So we can divide both by 8. But we can also see that x is a factor of x and x squared. So the highest common factor is 8x. So now we can divide the 32 by 8 to make 4. And the x divided by the x will cancel to make 1. So we're left with 4 on our numerator. For our denominator, we have 8 divided by 8 again to make 1. And then we have x squared, which is x multiplied by x, divided by the x. So you can see that these will simplify just to make one x term. So the simplified fraction is 4 over x. OK, let's try question B. So now we have 24xyz over 6xy. So again, we need to find the highest common factor of a numerator and denominator. And we can see that 6 goes in to 24 and 6. So we can divide both by 6. And x and y are also common factors. We have xy here and xy in the denominator. So the highest common factor of both numerator and denominator is 6xy. So now we have 24 divided by 6, which will make 4. x will cancel with the x to make 1. The y will do the same. So we're left with 4z on the numerator. For our denominator, the 6 divided by 6 will make 1 x divided by x will make 1, and y divided by y will make 1. So we're left with 4z over 1. So 24xyz over 6xy simplifies to make 4z. OK, do you want to try and simplify the fraction in question C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. OK, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we're going to do is find the highest common factor. And 5 goes into 15 and 25. So we'll divide both by 5. And b goes into b and b squared. So our highest common factor is 5b. So now, 15 divided by 5 is 3. The a squared doesn't simplify when you divide it by 5b. So we have 3a squared and the b divided by b to make 1. Our denominator, 25 divided by 5 is 5, and b squared divided by b will just make b. So this will simplify to make 3a squared over 5b. Okay, for question d, we have 16u plus 40 over 8u. So this is a different kind of fraction, because we need to factorise our numerator first. And we can see that 16u and 40 share a common factor of 8. So we can have an 8 on the outside. And an 8 times 2u will make the 16u. And an 8 times 5 will make 40. And this is divided by 8u. So now we can look for the highest common factor of our numerator and denominator which is 8. So we can divide both by 8. These will cancel to make 1, as will these. So we're left with the simplified fraction 2u plus 5 over u. OK, so do you want to try questions E and F? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. OK, so welcome back if you had a go. So the question E. We're going to factorise our numerator to begin with, and we can see that 5x is a common factor of 5x squared and 10x. So we'll have this on the outside of our brackets, and then 5x times x will make the 5x squared, and then times 2 to make the 10x. 
so we'll have positive 2. And this is over 15x. So now the highest common factor of a numerator and denominator is 5x. So we can simplify this fraction because 5x divided by 5x will make 1. So we're left with x plus 2 and then 15x divided by 5x will just make 3. So we're left with x plus 2 over 3. And for question f, again, we can factorise our numerator. And the highest common factor this time is 9. So we have 9 lots of x squared plus x plus 6, all over 3. The highest common factor of a numerator and denominator is 3. 9 divided by 3 will make 3, and this will cancel to make 1. So we have 3 lots of x squared plus x plus 6. We could expand these brackets if we wanted to, but I'm going to leave it in brackets. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.